I remembered, after I stopped the previous recording, that the Amulet Coin was on Dory. Silly me. Let's put that on Nova. And we're gonna hightail it to the gym. There is no path there, but after I cut down this tree, there it is. It threw me off a little bit with that one title difference. Nothing there. How about over here? Nice. Someone is a liar because I entered just fine. We're going to be seeing a lot of battles in this episode, so I'm keeping the animations off for a little bit. Celadon Gym is home to grass types. They have lots of weaknesses, and they also give a ton of XP when defeated because they grow, well, they grow fast, and so by proxy, you will grow fast. Makes sense? I thought so. Nova's gonna be channeling his inner Zack Wild and firing it up as much as possible. I'm pretty sure I can make that happen with 20 uses of Flame Wheel. Quick attack will hit for neutral. That's fine. Good, good. That's more than fine, that's perfect. Scary, but fun. Man, if I was playing Jack 2 right now, this would be the part where Mira would say something to the effect of, uh, of, uh, more firepower. Hop it, what? How far into this game are we now? That's just silly. And besides, you got the order wrong. It's hop, skip, jump, not skip, hop, jump. Oh well. This is what happens, Larry, when you feed a stroller scrambled eggs. You get motorcycles that roll by your window. 
I can't say I blame him though, the weather is starting to improve quite a bit. It is spring after all. As of this recording anyway. Okay, Erica. She's a very graceful lady, however, she's pretty strong herself. You see that 40Q? That's not for show. <laughs> this will probably be a two hit on Victory Bell. No, it's not. That's a crit. So far, so good. Appearances are definitely deceiving with Bell Awesome, because it is actually kind of tanky. Solar Beam, that's a free hit. Jumpluff isn't too powerful, however, it's very fast. Although, I guess this one's not... not fast enough to deal with Nova, because, well, this just happened. I'll hit for neutral with Thunder Punch, and that's it. I got lucky this time. <laughs> this Rainbow Badge is the halfway point for Kanto, or at least in the order that I went. Giga Drain was nearly added to uh, Gold and Silver. It wasn't particularly strong, but it definitely got better over time. It's still useful here for what it is. It you know it absorbs it absorbs damage for uh, no. It restores your HP for half of the damage that it deals to your opponent. Now it's back to Cerulean City. Nope, not Nova. Stand true. Not Gyarados. Metal Gear. Now then, um... Off we go. If we go west of here, there's a patch of grass, and this is that dreaded ledge from red and blue that created a point of no return, at least temporarily. Hmm. Wonder what that guy's doing back there. Oh, never mind, there's an opening. I did not know that conversation existed. That's adorable. Nugget Bridge, as you see here, is very barren. There's a way down there you can surf and check out that area where the cave used to be. The Mystery Cave. Which would later be renamed as the Cerulean Cave. However, just because the bridge has been abandoned doesn't mean that the trainers are equally abandoned. I don't know where I was going with that. They're still here. They're still accepting challengers. All that good stuff.
They must be doing something right if they're still in business three years later. of HP to take away, but with the level difference, it doesn't really matter too much. It's a good thing I put away Sanchu, otherwise I'd be in, well, I'd have a 1 in 5 chance of being in trouble. Speaking of high HP... I don't think that critical hit was necessary, but I'll take it. these levels look, I probably could have come here earlier, but oh well. It's better to be a little overprepared than, you know, not prepared at all. Just like I wasn't, prepared, wasn't quite fully prepared for Chuck's Polyrath way back when. here because we got one after the other. back here. Some more grass and a ledge.
Maybe I shouldn't have put away Sandshrew. There's an item back there behind that tree. Good job, good job. Before I talk to this guy, I want to change the party around a bit. There we go. I suppose one more wouldn't hurt. I mean, we're already here. This guy is noticeably tougher than, the, <laughs> than everybody else. Misty here was having a, a nice date, but we had to go and crash it because, I don't know, after being such a nice guy for so many episodes in a row, I felt like being a little mean. This is Bill's house, and here we have his grandfather. Show him various Pokemon, and he will give you I uh, an item to, I guess, match its color? Some along those lines. Anyway, he gives you the evolution stones that you need for various tasks, for such as completing Pokédexes, uh, evolving Pokémon, or to open up that one chamber in the un in the ruins of Alf that I have never been able to do for the longest time because I didn't know that water, but it meant a uh, water stone. So yeah, that's where you go for that. Or you can, you know, use a cheat code to put one in your bag and trade it that way. Whatever works for you. I don't judge. With the gym leader back in house, I'm ready to take her on in the next video. See you then.